setting for the luck. The hills are getting higher again as we get closer to Lancashire and Manchester. There's such a lot of water around these parts. You ever wonder why the Rochdale Canal's got a reputation for having a lack of water and people getting grounded all the time? But, uh, we shall find out, I no doubt. Just look at the amount of water coming over those gates. There's got to be almost as much coming in as there is going out. It's amazing that the uh, lock is actually emptying. Let's see if this bywash doesn't throw the boat over. Fran's giving it a fair lick. Well done. <laughs> Don't think this is going to take long to fill. I mean. Oh, I'll just take it slowly, hun. Water coming from everywhere. Do, friend. We've come to a concert in the Grand Town Hall in Tottenham, which is beautiful. a rather beautiful building. It's amazing. And uh, favourite symphony of ours is coming up next. Marla Fourth. Marla's Fourth. <laughs> We've listened to two pieces already, one of which Rich is not very keen. I'm not a Stravinsky fan. No. There's a huge orchestra for a little, for a, well, it's not a very big concert venue. Huge orchestra, the sound is amazing. Yeah, there's at least 60 pieces to the orchestra down there and uh, really enjoying ourselves. Here we are, back at the cottage. Uh, been here for a few days and uh, what a week it's been, eh, Fran? I think it's the most stressed I've been for <laughs> two years since we got the boat. <laughs> so we've hired a big van to uh, move all the furniture out and uh, put it in the lockup, um, what we're keeping anyway. Which isn't very much, we've slimmed it down to photographs and we couldn't get rid of all the books. No, we've, we have books kept a couple of boxes of books. But we had a nasty surprise on the uh, drive down. We'd, we'd got the van, hired the van, just started driving down, organised the lock up and the storage, checked my emails. We were about to sign contracts the following day, ready for exchange, and our buyer pulled out. She'd got a little bit worried because um, there'd been some floods in the area, extreme rain, the most I've had for years and years, uh, loads, uh, sorry, a long way from the house, um, but the road was closed for a couple of days and our buyer wanted a reduction in the price of the cottage, which we wouldn't give, and so she pulled out. So we're back on the market now. Mm. We can't let it because all <laughs> the furniture's gone. Um, so we've just got to holiday abide. let it, that is. Yeah, yeah, holiday let it. So we've just got to bide our time now and hope we find another buyer quickly. It's, um, uh, it's just, there's just no honour anymore in anybody, we feel. It's, they, 
<sighs> I've had <laughs> we've had a few restless nights, haven't we? It's been so uh, stressful. The, the um, first night, it actually threw us so much that we laid there thinking, do we just come back here, sell the boat, and come back to the house? Yeah. So anyway, decisions made. We've, we're still selling the house. If we don't sell it within a few months, then we'll review what we're doing. Um, possibly rent this property out. Yeah. But because it's in the middle of the sticks in Herefordshire, it uh, doesn't get the rental value that we would get on a flat in Yorkshire, to be honest. So. And it's also the maintenance on an old building yeah. like this. Yeah. It's, it's sound and good, but you never know whether you know something is going to be needing to be repaired on it and we don't really want that which is why we're looking at a newer building so but we're happy you know we're happy now all the hard work is done all the sorting has been done masses of stuff got rid of and it's really um i can never think of the, this word it's really cathartic that'll do but that wasn't <laughs> the one there's a bit of a posh word but it's it's really freeing really yeah Real freeing and <laughs> the <Light of> word. <laughs> anyway, it's done. Um, and so yeah, the last few bits are going in the van, and um, That's it. we may have to pop back one last time if it's a long while before it's sold, just to make sure it's all okay. Neighbours are looking after it for us, and um, hopefully we won't have to come back again. So, so if anybody wants a nice three-bed semi <laughs> <laughs> in beautiful part of rural Herefordshire. Let us know. <laughs> anyway, back to the boat tonight. Yes, thank Can't goodness wait. for that. Can't wait. And we've got a Saturday, I think we've got to go to lock up tomorrow to lo unload a few more things, unpack. And then Sunday is big time chill out day, isn't it? Mm, not half. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Euros. Leave, coin. Leave the five pound notes down there. <laughs> Don't get the vacuum one up. <laughs> right then. What's going on, Archie? <laughs> so the drama does not end, does it? <laughs> Having it loaded our van up. Emptied the house, checked it, double checked it, locked it. The battery was flat on the van. <laughs> and uh, we're not quite sure what happened with it. But, it's uh, the side door has been bashed in the past. And uh, when you shut it, it doesn't shut properly. Unless you give it a real wallop. And um, so I think the side door wasn't shut overnight and it's just internal lights just drain the battery. You actually had a premonition about it, didn't you? Yeah. It came down first thing this morning just to check that it started and it was fine. But three hours later, once we're loaded up, dead as a dodo. <laughs> but once again, the locals in our little village came to the rescue and the local garage lent us a, a massive industrial sized <laughs> battery charging pack, whatever it is. And we're on the move, so we're not stopping now until we get to destination, just in case. Hi, Hello. So, Phoebe, where in the world are you? I'm in Sheffield at the moment. Jackie, where in the world are you? Well, we are at Rochdale train station. Free of possessions. Yes. Free of car. Having oh. dropped a van off at the uh, hire company and put all our worthy possessions in a five by five foot storage units I was just trying to with think room to spare with room to spare yeah <laughs> and very cathartic it is as we already said oh here's our train <laughs> we've got another load of stuff on the boat to find room for again but
off for a walk. Some walk as well. It is. <laughs> right on the top of Todd Mudden Edge. It's only a three mile walk that we picked up a leaflet from the visitor centre, but it's like that. Yeah, <laughs> it was on the way up, wasn't it? Really wonderful views. It's a shame that it's a grey autumn day. But uh, this is where we want to be. Out in the sticks, so we've come just enjoying ourselves and from... forgetting all of last week. Sorry. Sorry, Karen, <laughs> do that bit again. No, it's done. So we've we've come from town, and Todmorden's a lovely little town, but quite fairly busy. And a mile up the hill, you feel like you're in the middle of the countryside. It's just so peaceful, apart from a squeaky dog down here. So peaceful, really ancient farms. What was that one, 1400? 1762. 1760. But it's just stunning. Just, you know, as the crow flies, probably a mile from the boat. Yeah, nice circular walk. Just in time for a pint now. <laughs> well, just below is where the road, river, railway and canal all vie for position through the town. going in here for Fran? Little cupboard. Huh? A little cupboard, a little chest of drawers for all your art stuff to go in because I quite like it. It's mm. quirky. Shop shut now. I'm having a blast from the past. I've got this little film scanner you can scan slides and negatives and uh, there's a picture of our boat when I was a kid so I'm able to scan these and put them on the computer and I'll show some pictures coming up in a minute but that's our little 40-foot boat which my parents bought in 1972 called Threshold now you know lots of people have asked why you call the boat Threshold well, it's because of these guys, the Moody Blues. See, this chap on the back here, Mike Pinder, that's my mum's brother. Now, sadly, mum's not alive anymore, but Mike is, and he's uh, kicking around in America and has done for the last 40 odd years. But he's still very much in touch with the uh, music world. And the reason the boat was called Threshold was because that was their label. The Threshold label, back in the 70s. So yeah, that's my uh, claim to fame. So I've been scanning these uh, old slides that I took when I was a kid, and my parents took, and uh, having a bit of fun. Just really enjoying myself. <laughs> 